Hello my YouTube friends and welcome to another one of my videos. And on this rainy day in Zone 6 in South Central Pennsylvania, I'd like to talk a little bit about the benches that I built here at my fire pit. A uh, fairly simple project and I'll tell you how I did it and its approximation and cost. Okay, as you can see there's three benches at the back end of the fire pit. And then here on the other side of the fire pit, there's two benches and they're in the shape of a L shape. Now each bench consists of seven uh, two by four treated and consists of one four by four treated for the legs. And then, of course, uh, I use uh, decking screws to put it all together. So what I did was I uh, went ahead and I laid the 2x4s on a concrete slab. And I laid them next to each other and I put a penny in between each one. So approximately about an inch distance between each 2x4. Uh, and when I ha had them all together, I cut down... Uh, a piece of 2x4 put on either end and then I screwed them fast to the butt ends of the 2x4 uh, 8 lengths. And then that brought this whole seating area uh, together. Once that was done I went ahead and put a piece of 2x4 underneath the bench and that just makes it more secure and keeps uh, the, the uh, two by fours from gapping so much during um, changes in weather. After that, I went ahead and I cut down a four by four. These are approximately 13 inches tall, each one. And then I went ahead and framed those in with two two by fours on either side. Screwed them into the base of the, the seating area of the bench. And then that was it. Um, now, in, in my particular situation, I did screw down the benches to the actual deck. So they are not movable. I suppose I could unscrew them and move them to uh, any area that I wanted to. Now, I do want to warn you that these are extremely heavy. Uh, it takes about two people to move these once you get them all built and uh, put them in the place that you want to put them. And then again here on uh, the smaller benches, these are also uh, seven uh, two by fours treated. And I did two sections and then I went ahead and uh, just screwed them together at the end to make an L shape. And these uh, right here sit approximately four people each. So a total of four people. And then, of course, on the eight-foot benches, you're looking at another four people. I suppose you could get five. But it's a fairly simple project. And I went ahead and stained them. And that is kind of like a, a moisture barrier to the wood. It helps a little bit. Now the first bench I built was about 10 years ago on my friend's property. They still have it. It looks like I, I built it yesterday. These last a good long time because they are pressure treated lumber and if you uh, stain them every like three years they'll last <laughs> forever. They're very durable, heavy duty, and they're simple to make. And if you have a camp area or something like that, this would probably come in real handy. Now I do like the slats in between the benches. Great for airflow. And uh, I suppose you could put pads on here if wood doesn't uh, satisfy your behind. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, uh, you guys have seen in my past videos of Spider Fit before. 
This is uh, 26 feet by 16 feet, this uh, fire pit area. And so, um, it, it seats a, between 14 and 20 people comfortably. Anyhow, if you like this video, go ahead and press like. Um, and if you have any suggestions or comments, write down below. And as always, I appreciate you watching my videos. I like to put out um, oh, three videos a week. I try to. Anyhow, if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, and I always like to say in my videos that uh, I do subscribe to a lot of channels, from gardening to bushcrafting, um, homesteading, and artist. Uh, all you guys are so interesting. You put out a lot of good information. And that's why I subscribe to you. So uh, if you like a channel and you have that commonality with that particular channel, go ahead and subscribe to them. And I also do the same to those that I've subscribed to. Because they're doing things that I'm interested in, they educate me, I subscribe to them. So anyhow, I'll let you go now, and we'll see you on the next video.